Consider the following differential equation. This is an example of a second order differential equation since it contains a second order and because of the term here on the right hand side being 10 e to the x rather than just 0 this is a non-homogeneous second order de and the first thing we need to do is to find the auxiliary equation otherwise sometimes known as the characteristic equation and the auxiliary equation for this particular de is going to be m squared plus 6m plus 13 equals 0 so you can see that's using the coefficients of y and the first and second derivatives to get this then solving that for m no obvious factorization in this case so let's use the quadratic formula that will become negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 13 divided by 2 times 1 and that then becomes negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 divided by 2 and the square root of a negative number that becomes something in terms of j so that is going to be negative 6 plus or minus 4j in this case divided by 2 therefore the roots of our auxiliary equation we can divide through by 2 here to find that they are of the form m equal to negative 3 plus or minus 2j now we need to look at the form of the roots of our auxiliary equation so we saw that these are of the form m equal to negative 3 plus or minus 2j so this is an example of two complex conjugate roots of the form alpha plus or minus beta j and that means in this case alpha is the real part of this complex number so alpha here is negative 3 while beta is 2 therefore this is the form of the complementary function yh in this case yh will be e to the alpha x which is e to the negative 3x here times a cos beta x which is a cos 2x plus b sine 2x so that's a complementary function or solution of the associated homogeneous de so we now look at the right hand side of our differential equation to work out the form of our particular integral yp which is a particular solution satisfying our de and in this case the right hand side includes the term e to the 2x so that is of the form e to the px where here p is equal to 2 so the question is whether 2 is a root of the auxiliary equation and the answer is no it is not because we saw earlier that negative 3 plus or minus 2j were roots of the auxiliary equation 2 is not a root of it therefore yp will be in this form here it will have the form c e to the px which in this case will be c e to the 2x and once we have found this because that should satisfy this de we then differentiate this twice so yp dashed here is going to be 2c e to the 2x and the second derivative yp double dashed is going to become 4c e to the 2x therefore we substitute these back into our de up here so that's going to give us 4c e to the 2x for the second derivative plus 6 times the first derivative so 6 times 2 c e to the 2x plus 13 y so 13 c e to the 2x is equal to the right hand side of this which was 10 e to the 2x then we can easily expand and simplify this 4 c e to the 2x plus 12 c e to the 2x plus 13 c e to the 2x is equal to 10 e to the 2x that will just become 29c e to the 2x equal to 10 e to the 2x and so from that we can find that c is equal to 10 29 hence yp which was c e to the 2x is 10 29 e to the 2x so finally the general solution y is yh plus yp hence the general solution of this de will be y equals e to the negative 3x a cos 2x 
plus b sine 2x plus 10 on 29 times e to the 2x.